Bobby Badorf, who was the he was on the tour at the time. He was from the Berkshire Country Club. He told me if I ever wanted to play good, I had to change my grip to start. And instead of playing golf, he said you have to practice, hit balls, and that's what I did. And developed a pretty good swing. As a seventh grader, I was a caddy for our golf coach and our high school team because we weren't allowed to play until he became a ninth grader. So I used to caddy for her. She was a woman. And uh, I caddied for her for two years whenever the high school team played. And then in ninth grade, my two brothers and myself out of a five-man team were on the team. We played one, two, and the fourth man. I was the second man to my brother. Who, you know, they were also good golfers. What high school was that? I was Exeter High School. Okay. I started winning like uh, like public course club championships and one day tournaments from about '67 to '70. Yeah, I entered my first amateur in '69. Uh, lost at the Berkeley Country Club, one down, and then the following year I played at Heidelberg, and it was uh, the first year it was expanded. To 32 players, and I won the tournament there, beating Don Sowers. And then I just, every year I just got a little better and just kept hitting balls. Well, I was invited to play a practice round with uh, one or two of the guys from the Reading Country Club that were going to play in the amateur that were going to attempt to qualify. So I said I would love to play. So when I got to the golf course, I saw that it, I played it pretty good and decided that I'll enter myself. So I entered and uh, fortunately got lucky and won. I went to be in the finals. I remember being down early and I thought, boy, I got to change this around. I don't want him to, to think that I'm just going to keep playing like this. Because, you know, after he just beat Jay Siegel, I'm thinking, boy, he could get a little cocky and just wipe me out. So I didn't want that to happen, so I had to get aggressive, and I, I you know, I just more or less turned it around somewhere in the middle of the round. Uh, I believe I played John Franco from New Jersey. Uh, that was a semifinal. I played uh, one of the defending champions, or uh, a past champion, I should say, is. Uh, uh, Hendrickson uh, in the first round, and then I believe I beat Ben Goldman in the second round. Now with Ben, I played, I had quite a few birdies in that round. And then I played uh, Jimmy Frazier in the morning round, and then John Franco in the afternoon round the second day. I had played a lot of good players in Rose County, and uh, I remember Don Sowers always telling me, you know, he said, 150 yards at Cedarbrook is the same at Green Hills. So just think of it that way and don't don't get involved in the hype. You know, so that's the way you looked at it. Coming from a public course, there's, which I'm sorry for to this day, uh, there was protocol at country clubs, you know, at Toast. I knew nothing about that. No one had talked to me about it. So we more or less just played it the way we did it, public courses. You know, it's no big deal. It's like, hey, you won. You know, it's, <laughs> you know not realizing how big a tournament it was. You know, you, you're from a different environment. You say, wait a minute, Chase Siegel played, uh, Bucky Earhart, you know, guys like that. You say, holy cow, to realize what you did. Well, now you're realizing. Back then, I didn't. The following year, I didn't even join the ready. I, you know, working in a factory. I, you know, sometimes you had the money, sometimes you didn't. So I, did, I didn't join the ready, and so I wasn't a member of the association. Okay. So it, it was a couple of years till I rejoined the ready, and then I played again. Uh, the one year I reached the semifinals at uh, Spring Haven and lost to Buddy Bellucci. I remember playing that match on the 16th hole. He was stymied. He had 
take a drop. He made a great bogey out of the hole from the left side, and I had missed a par putt, which kept me one down. And then on the 17th hole, he birdied it and closed me out. You know, had I won the 16th hole, you never know what happens. But that's golf. You don't have to shoot low. I never really shot a lot of low scores at a country club, so uh, there it was extremely small greens like we have at Green Hills. And I was always a good chipper and putter back then. So you didn't have to hit a lot of greens, but you had to get it up and down. And fortunately, that's, uh, I, had, I think I beat Buddy Marucci by one shot. I was, I, I believe I was the last threesome on the golf course and the only one that could beat him. You're playing, you know, the best in the, you know, in, in Berks County, you might have five golf courses where there's good players, plus your public courses. But in Philadelphia, you're dealing with 150 golf courses where if each player sends one person, you know, that's good a three handicap or better, you've got to be a little lucky to get through that field. Being a, there again, being a factory worker, and I had four children at an early age. Okay. It uh, was a little rough on me. I mean, even playing in a 74 amateur, I had taken vacation that week. And then that Sunday when we were supposed to play, it rained and they postponed it. So the following week, I actually had to go to work for a shift before I come down to play, which was pretty hard. And then when I won the tournament, I didn't go into work that night. I called off sick. And they saw my picture in the paper the next day. <laughs> just a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I was a pain maker. Uh, I worked in manufacturing, uh, mixing the paint, uh, and that's what made it difficult playing golf because you know you were you were handling twenty thousand pounds a day, lifting and dumping drums, six seven hundred pound drums, which is physical. So to play golf, you really got to hit a lot of balls to get a feel. It's just a different scenario. in Berks County, but uh, other than that, no. I won a lot of club championships, you know, at home. I didn't really get out that much as far as Philly, you know, money restrictions. Uh, well, the two Berks County amateurs, I've won uh, three pub links in Berks County, but my brother and I won quite a few tournaments as in better balls. Like, we won the Central Penn better ball at Hershey. Uh, Playing with a friend of mine, and I played for 35 years at Galen Hall, an old golf course in, in Berks County. We, uh, we shot a 14 under par 58, which, you know, to this day is still unreal. Uh, it was either 77 or 78 sometime in there, 30 okay. some years ago. and uh, he started winning a lot, you know, after I had more or less finished. But I remember at Heidelberg, we, uh, Chip made like a 30 or 40 foot putt on the 18th hole to tie me. And then we went four extra holes, five extra holes actually. And I bogeyed the fifth hole to lose. But you lose to a good player, so it doesn't matter, you know. It's, 